Good day, YouTube. 17th of October, 2021. Hey, these are my uh, couple pickups um, with their campers on them, all in under cover for the fall, the winter, the spring. Um, yeah, we get them out, use them once in a while, but that's where they live. Um, I have a project that I started the other day and I need to finish it, and it has to do with building a lug wrench for this truck. This is my shop truck, my 66 F100, and uh, <clears throat> you know, it's nothing crazy special, but uh, a regular lug wrench often doesn't fit well between the center cap and the lug nut itself. And it, I want to build a custom lug wrench that not only works well on the truck, something I can keep behind the seat, but would also function for any trailer I might tow with it. And I don't have a hitch on this yet, but I do have a hitch uh, I'm going to customize to put on this truck so that I can haul trailers with it. And I need this lug wrench to not only fit the truck, but to fit any trailer that I may be hauling. And you know, if we go out and do you know a revival or whatever, I have to change a tire or two on a rig that we're buying and hauling out. I want it to fit everything. Let me show you what I. Uh, what I mean about other trailers too. There's a couple trailers that that pickup could certainly be hauling one day. Um, and it's nothing special uh, as far as wheels are concerned. Um, their lug nuts are probably either a 3 quarter inch or 13 16, such as a standard 15 inch trailer wheel. The other trailer has a oh, we'll end up with their 5 on 5 and a half wheels, probably end up with something similar to what's on it. 14 inch wheel but again three quarter or 13 sixteenths uh, lug nuts on that trailer a little flatbed trailer she's got 12 inch wheels on it it's five lug um, again five on five and a half probably a three quarter inch socket fits that one this is our uh i think it's a 93 uh it's a geo tracker and it's got 13 sixteenths lug nuts on it and uh probably doesn't uh matter too much but you can see the clearance between the center cap and the lug nut i actually put bigger lug nuts on this just that gives it a different look and uh not something that will strip out easily if i had to change this on the side of the road somewhere and my car trailer i put a set of uh ford ranger wheels on it and uh they're kind of tight in there they're a little rusty too i need to get them cleaned up but uh Oh, back that tire shot. Look at that. I just noticed that. The tire's junk. Wow. Anyway, I uh, digress. So let's get a lug wrench built. I'll show you what I got in mine. All right, sorry for the mess on my bench, but I got about 13 projects going on at the same time. Um, so this is the lug wrench that we're going to start with. It's just a yard sale find. You can get these things for a buck or so. At most yard sales, seems like I've probably got half a dozen of them sitting around here somewhere. I was kind of looking for one that wasn't too big because, again, I'm going to try to fit it either under the seat or behind the seat of the truck. A um, couple things we're going to do is um, these things tend to be fairly thick and they don't fit well on some wheels. That's why I took you around and just showed you the various types of wheels that I know I'll have to deal with. But who knows what I'll have to deal with in the future or, you know, a revival car or something like that. So uh, this is the 13 sixteenths end. This is the three quarter inch end. Um, but uh, these can also screw up a lug nut. Um, if any of you guys really started reefing on one, you'll understand that. So let's do this. This is a spark plug socket. Um, it's uh, not all wore out already. Okay. And uh, it'll fit neatly into there. So we're going to clean off the chrome. We're going to clean off the end of that lug wrench. We're going to weld that socket in there. This is a little thinner wall. It'll fit your uh, tight tolerances between the lug nut and the wheel like we just looked at and so forth. Then we're going to take a three-quarter inch socket. We're going to put it on like here. Can you see that? Yeah. So we're going to clean off the chrome so we can weld it. We're going to clean off the four-way so we can weld it. And we've got a decent socket here. And we've got a decent socket here. That should cover most of the sizes of lug nuts that I figure I'll encounter. Um, both 3 quarter inch um, here and 13 sixteenths with a spark plug socket. Alright, 
So that's those two. That's what we're going to weld to there. Now then, <clears throat> what else are we going to do with this? I've chosen this one because it has this point on it. Um, and for those of you that don't know, that's for popping hubcaps off. And that might also be very handy to have. Um, I have put hubcaps on trailers before. I'll put hubcaps on trailers again. Um, so having uh, one of these on this four-way is a great idea. I'm going to leave that. All right? That leaves me one more side to deal with, and that is this side. All right. I'm also going to carry this bottle jack. Okay. Now there's a couple things I want to accomplish here. I want to be able to jack up my bottle jack with the four-way. Again, how many times you got a jack and you can't find the handle? I actually bought a couple jacks. I bought this one and this one at a yard sale the other day. Price tag still on that one. It was 10 bucks, but I can remember it was half price. I bought both of these for 10 bucks. Um, but anyway, they didn't come with handles. So this is a four ton. That should be plenty enough for anything I'll ever go get. And uh, I found this socket. I have just have a box of yard sale sockets that fits that pretty decent that will jack up this jack. Okay. So this will be my socket that fits that that will weld up here on this side of the four way. Now I've got a way to jack up my bottle jack. Now, the only other thing I need is to be able to let the jack down. All right. What do you think of that? All right. If I take a, a grinder and cut a slot in that and have it fit that, weld it to here, like so. And now I can still use this for jacking up my jack. Let it down, tighten it back up, and I'm good. All with my one four-way wrench, one tool, uh -huh. does it all. It's fall, going into winter. This is the time when I hope I have the time to build some of this kind of stuff. i got a million projects going on in my head. Um, this is one I want to get done so that if I need it, it's there. And sometimes when you build it and you have it, you'll never need it. And there's a benefit in itself. So, let me get this four-way cleaned up and get the sockets cleaned up and start welding. So I'm down to the last one. Got the socket welded to this socket. Got a groove cut in it. That's going to be my release for my jack. And this whole thing will fit into the jack handle. Got the three-quarter welded on, 13 sixteenths welded on. Let's get this one welded. And get out of your way. gas off. I got a rule. If I shut the welder off, I shut the gas off. We asked you what window welding beauty contest, but uh, it is what it is. It's a lug wrench. Let's cool this off. See how she fits. 
All right, let's see if she fits the jack. Sure, it's not too hot. Still a little warm. All right. Can I jack up the jack? You bet. Can I let down the jack? Sorry, this thing's a little toasty. Oh, yeah. Very good. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Does she fit the lug nuts? Oh, yeah. She fits real nice. Fits real nice. Good, good, good. All right. What do you think, guys? You gonna make one? Specific for all your custom vehicles, different size lug bolts and lug nuts and stuff, race cars, all this stuff. We always used to make our own when we was racing cars back in the day because we ran larger lug nuts um, that would take a 15 16 socket. So we always used to make our lug wrench is custom anyway gang i am going to clean it up throw some paint on it i'll uh use the uh painted version as a thumbnail so you can see what it looks like when she's all painted up but you know the idea is it doesn't necessarily have to look good it just has to work for everything and i think we have done that gang thanks for watching comment and subscribing thumbs up on the way out please we'll catch you guys on the next one